my name is Chris. Um, I use they them pronouns and I've been uh, transitioning for a few years now. I've been starting to use trans tape as time has gone on. As I've noticed, my neck and shoulders have been more painful when I wear a sports bra or when I wear a bra. Uh, the sports bra I'm wearing today is the most comfortable one I've found. It's, um, you know, just a generic store brand. I think it's Fruit of the Loom front clasp. I wear this when I want to give my skin a break um, or if I'm sleeping and I need to take the tape off. Sometimes if this uh, if the tape is irritating to my skin, I like to give it a break for a day, um, clean my skin, make sure to take care of it before I put the tape back on so that I'm not damaging my skin at all. Um, I already have my chest taped um, just to cover the nipples and I'm going to show you how I take my chest fully. Um, here are some of the easiest tips that I have. Do not tape your chest when it, you are when your skin is damp. If you are sweaty, if you just came out of a shower, you need to dry your chest. Dry it until your skin is bone dry more than you think you need to. The other key thing that I would say, do not put moisturizer or any products on your skin. Use a plain soap without moisturizing agents. I actually, I'm just on vacation, so I brought this with me. This is just Cetaphil. So I actually used Cetaphil because when I was washing my skin and shaving, the mo there was a moisturizing strip on the razor, and I used a Dove Soap Bar. Both of those are bad because they will add moisturizer, and it will stop the tape from adhering to your skin. The next thing that I would say is heat. You need to apply heat to the tape to get it to bind to your skin. You can either rub the tape before you put it on your skin or rub it when it's on. I rub it while it's on. That way it adheres better to the skin, in my opinion. That's just what works for me. Um, there are some different methods. I tend to apply a piece of tape sideways and pull the chest up towards my armpit the same way that I used to bind in a binder. And then I grab an extra piece and I pull up to make a peck shape. I'm not going to have a small chest. It's not going to look like I don't have a chest. It's going to look like I have basically make boobs. I'm going to look like a plus size guy with a small chest at least. Just something there, but not thin. Um, I use spider tech tape instead of trans tape because it's six inches instead of five inch tape, and I'm Canadian. Uh, you can get it in Canada and the US with free shipping. Um, when you, Especially if you buy it in bulk, you can save by buying multiple. I'm not getting anything from it. I pay my good money towards all this tape. This is just the easiest one for me to get in Canada. Spider Tech brand, extra extra large or extra extra wide tape, six inch tape works. If you're below with maybe a C to a D, you could probably get away with uh, four inch tape. That would be about half the price of the tape that I get. Um, other tips I would say, if you've shaved your armpits, don't apply deodorant before you put on the tape. It will stop it from adhering. Um, or immediately after. The best deodorant you, you can use is a spray-on deodorant. Nothing that is going to lift it. When you apply the tape, the best thing is to apply as much heat as possible. Um, and I find that this method and keeping it as dry, making sure your skin is clear and shaved, all of this matters to keep it on. If you skip some of those things, it won't stick as well and it'll come off sooner. Just some of the quick ch changes that I made on making sure my skin is dry, not moisturized, has made a difference on how long the tape lasts on my chest, from about two to four days to about four to six days. Sometimes it's actually hard to remove the tape. If that's the case, soak your tape in baby oil. And when you go to remove it, I like to soak the tape in baby oil, sit in the shower, wait a couple minutes, with the shower off, turn the shower on, grab body wash or soap, and slowly pull the tape off by rubbing soap along the edge, and it will make sure that you're not pulling at your skin or damaging your skin while removing the tape. I can't think of anything else that I missed to tell you. If I miss anything, I will put it in the comments or put it in the info below. Um, and I'm going to take the sports bra off, and I already have bandages on the nipples. I'll show you how I'm going to apply the tape. And I'll show you the size pieces that I use for my chest. So I'm about between an E to an F size chest, depending on what band size I'm between band sizes. This is the larger piece that I use. This piece is what's going to take it here and pull it over. This is the first piece I'm going to use. The next piece 
is this one I use and I pull up. Um, I used to use smaller pieces, but I found sometimes I would get a little divot of skin, so I opted to go to a bigger size tape. And I'm going to show you how I apply tape. First thing I do, I peel this back. You don't want to touch the tape, it will adhere to your skin. So you want to touch it as little as possible so it sticks as easily as possible. I'm going to line it up right here and right here. So if you look, I have it attached, I have most of this rolled, I have it taped right here. This is actually just trans tape and gauze. I was using bandages for a while, but I found it a little harsh on my skin, and I actually find this better on my skin to use gauze and trans tape, and it bothers me less. So in a quick motion, I'm going to pull it all the way back. And I'm going to apply heat. The tape should last four to six days. Depends on how much you swim, how wet it gets, what products you use, how active you are, how much you sweat. All of that will make a difference. You said sweat twice. Sweat? I said twice? Yep. Um, my wonderful brother filming the video for me. That's number one. So you can see a bit of a difference. This is the larger size. It looks almost like I pull it up a bit. It's almost push up. Then this piece is gonna help make it peck shape. I like to, at first, do both sideways and then both up because it helps with my motion. The only annoying thing of how good my scissors are is that there's never any spare strands for me to catch my fingers on because I have short hands. I'm going to do the same on this tape. Line it up the exact same way. And then I'm going to start pulling. And go up. It will crease in some places. That's okay. As long as it's not pinching your skin or irritating your skin, you're okay. If it starts to itch, if it starts to hurt, you can always remove the tape. One of the weirdest things is rubbing your chest on camera, I have to say. The next thing I'm going to show you is I started using different sizes based on my chest. This size is about a cup size bigger than this chest, this side chest. So this one, I use four pieces across. This is about two inches each, so eight inches by six inches. This one's about seven inches by six inches, rounded corners. I also made sure pre, early and before the video to cut my tape because it does take a little while. You don't need any special equipment. Nothing fancy. I use dollar store scissors, just make sure they're sharp. This is where it gets tricky because you have to make sure not to fold or crease it. If you fold or crease it, you might need another piece. I pull it like this and I pull it up and stretch. I've done this enough so I don't have to do it in front of a mirror. It's mostly feel at this point but I do like to check them here when I'm done and adjust if necessary. So how would you adjust? You would just pull it down and pull it if back it up? If it isn't fully sticking to the skin, that's when I adjust. At that point, that means if it's not really sticking and it's still tacky, mm -hmm. I will apply. And if I have to adjust it a little bit, I'll move it slightly, try not to do too much, and rub as much as you can because it likes to stick less, the more you pull it that adheres it. You can only do it so many times before it will not stick anymore. Last piece, hopefully, we'll see. So you can add like a third piece if the first two don't stick well instead of redoing the second piece. Yeah, and if you have to trim the tape, sometimes like a corner will lift. If a corner lifts, 
or it starts pulling, you get a frayed edge. You can trim it. You don't have to leave it as is. I like to let gravity work for me by leaning down, letting my chest sit on the tape while stretching it up, pulling it up. A lot of this is intuitive and feel. You need to stretch that tape a little bit to get the compression. It gives me about three inches worth of compression when I've measured, and it gives me a masculine look under a shirt. That is my trans tape tutorial. I'm gonna go take a look at myself in the mirror, see if I need to make any adjustments. I think that looks really good, actually. I think we're okay. If I have to make any adjustments, I will over the next few days. I'm not perfect, it always turns out a little bit differently, but I hope some of these tips help you. It is not that scary, and there's a lot of trial and error. If this doesn't work for you, try something out. Try something else. If you think that your chest kind of sits one way and you like to bind it a different way, bind it down, try it. There's no harm. Maybe you might waste a bit of tape, but in the end, you'll figure out what works for you. The best thing for me is it relieves some of that pressure from my shoulders and my neck, which really bothers me with my chest. And then I don't have to have the feeling of bands over my shoulders or a reminder that I'm wearing anything like a binder or a sports bra to bind my chest. It just feels more natural, like I'm able to go shirtless like any other guy. Now, I don't do that as much in public. I do it around the house with friends who are supportive and understand. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, message me, whatever you would like to do, and I'm happy to help. Take care and have a great day. My name is Chris, and this is my trans tape tutorial. Have a great day. Bye. Bye, folks.